Hey everyone, welcome to the Active Towns channel. I'm John Zimmerman and I am in Boulder, Colorado today. And we're gonna be taking a look at some uh, traffic calming strategies, especially sort of in the suburban, rural, uh, slash uh, residential uh, context. Uh, you're gonna see some streets here without uh, sidewalks and some with, and uh, mechanisms, strategies to try to slow motor vehicle drivers down just a bit and, uh, and make it a little bit more comfortable for families, all ages and abilities to be able to walk and bike uh, in the neighborhood. Uh, so let's turn this camera off and uh, go for a ride. So the first thing I want to do is uh, set a little context for this particular street. Uh, just about a half a block up ahead there is a, a little uh, activity area where we've got a uh, grocery store, some restaurants, a liquor store. Um, I believe there's actually maybe a performing arts center up here as well and even a uh, school and then if we swing around we see that we have this sort of you know suburban probably at one point in time exurban uh, situation here residential situation uh, we see that we have a traffic calming uh, installation that has been uh, put in which narrows the travel lane down to one lane where motor vehicles traveling in each direction uh, need to yield and figure out who's gonna go. Um, and then we also have through lighter, quicker, cheaper, flex posts <laughs> put in here, a little uh, narrowing of the roadway. And uh, we notice that we have the ability um, on bikes to be able to travel right through the traffic calming pinch point that has been created with the flex post. And we're gonna see a couple different uh, iterations of this lighter, quicker, cheaper installation on the way down, and then we'll turn around and come back up, and you can see uh, sort of the difference. And uh, quite frankly, it might be easier to hear uh, on the way up because it looks like I have uh, a little bit of wind in my face right now. So let's just kind of let this roll and you can kind of see how this works. I'm gonna pull up and stop here for just a moment to take in what we have happening here because it's uh, quite a bit actually. So we do have a crosswalk here and we've got our state law yield to pedestrians in the crosswalk. And we also have a multi-use path intersecting with this narrow, low speed, low traffic volume street. And then if we come up here a little bit, we can also see that uh, we have a 20 mile per hour maximum speed. Uh, and it is uh, co-branded with uh, Vision Zero as well, the initiative to try to eliminate all traffic deaths and serious injuries. And now we can see in this car coming forward, definitely a much more pronounced horizontal deflection. And here we actually see a bike symbol going through this section. So they formalized the bike channel um, in this particular portion of the traffic calming mechanism. So the other installation or the other iteration of the lighter, quicker, cheaper installation had a more of a narrowing uh, in, in sort of a channelization and you had uh, the flex posts on either side of the road. Whereas in this direction, we see uh, a formalized channel for a person riding a bike through. And as you'll see, as we go up here a little bit, um, that formalization of the channel kind of goes away, but it's very, very comfortable and easy for a person on a bike, as long as it's not too wide of a bike or cargo trike uh, to be able to go through in between the flex posts quite easily do so and again might be asking well why why are the, is the city doing these types of installations especially with flex posts lighter quicker cheaper uh, not really authentic quote-unquote protection for the more vulnerable road users really it's visual and it is a, a placeholder for the future and what I mean by that is we're going to go two blocks over, three blocks over, I can't remember which, 
and take a look at a permanent installation traffic calming right here in this same neighborhood so you can get a sense as to another way of going about trying to slow motor vehicle speeds down uh, slow those drivers down and make it a little bit more pleasant for people walking and biking to meet their daily needs including school because school is just right up ahead So as often is the case, uh, cities will make some slight tweaks and changes to the layout of the traffic calming. And sure enough, uh, I went back and looked at the 2022 uh, versions of this uh, traffic calming and you'll notice a slight difference here. Notice the uh, sort of the, the wiggle that happens in this area and there was a sort of center island uh, as part of traffic calming. That looks like it has been removed. Uh, it looks like the paint was still there on, uh, you know, here this year in 2023, but uh, you, you saw that there were actually some directional arrows uh, and on some flex posts uh, back in 2022. So clearly this has gone through some evolution over time. Okay, so we're a few blocks over on Norwood, and now you can see a more permanent type of installation of traffic calming. We see a speed table here at a crosswalk where there's some sidewalks. Unfortunately, that sidewalk is blocked at the moment. And just another way of going about it, the street wiggles its way through here. I won't belabor this too much, but did want to point out that there are other ways of going about this, including ways that are much more substantial, much more permanent in nature, and really help to slow and calm the motor vehicle traffic speeds, which really helps out, especially in the morning with all the kids getting down to the elementary school and the middle school, which is just down below us here. And again, you can kind of see with this person riding up ahead, how the wiggle, again, similar type of wiggle as was being created with flex post, but now it's with more permanent infrastructure, with plantings, with trees, and the sight lines are decreased so motor vehicle drivers naturally slow down and that's the whole point point. and again this may not be the right type of treatment in every circumstance but it gives you a little bit of an idea as to the options Okay, our destination uh, is Glenwood Drive, right over here where this uh, vehicle is turning in and the other is turning out. We're going to pop on over and take a look at another of the flex post installations for traffic calming and uh, see what it's like to ride a bike on them, through them, and uh, even connect up to a multi-use path. And again, similar design where it's the narrowing to a single sort of traffic lane, trying to get motor vehicle drivers to slow down. And you can see with the dimensions with the truck coming forward, SUV. And I can easily thread the needle, come right straight through. Off to the left here, you see the multi-use path, connector there, and up ahead is the continuation of the multi-use path. 
and we can head on down the multi-use path. Um, but I did want to just kind of talk a little bit about this design as well as these flex posts right here uh, coming out of this this little side street here. You'll notice um, the slow maneuver that the uh, Amazon Prime driver is, is taking. You can also see the flex posts here are really beat up. Um, they're having a hard time. Many of these folks are having a hard time with the dimensions of this, um, you know, sort of traffic calmed corner. Um, it was a pretty abrupt uh, corner to begin with, but apparently folks were really just whipping around uh, this corner, just not even stopping at the stop sign. And so they felt like it was real important to try to slow these folks down who are coming out of this commercial uh, district there there's a, a grocery store over there and so they needed to slow folks down one more look up glenwood at the traffic calming flex post design again lots and lots of debris i'm um, gathering in between and so it's not going to be super, super comfortable. You can see we've got some um, trees overgrowing into this little area here. So it's not going to be very inviting for people to ride bikes through this little uh, slip lane kind of area here. Um, it's very possible if there was some maintenance to it and it was formalized, but that wasn't probably the main intent. Um, but again, as we saw up on Quince, there is an opportunity to uh, channelize these and still get your traffic calming uh, element, traffic calming done by narrowing the space for the motor vehicle drivers and getting them to slow down. Okay, let's jump on the multi-use path and go to lunch. Hey, thank you all so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this video. Taking a look at some traffic calming strategies, uh, both the lighter, quicker, cheaper, as well as the permanent installation forms. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up, <laughs> leave a comment down below and share it with a friend. And if you haven't done so already, be honored to have you subscribe to the channel. Just click on that subscription button down below and ring the notifications bell. Until next time, this is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health, and happiness. Cheers. Also want to send a quick shout out and hat tip to my friend Melissa out on Twitter uh, for the inspiration for this profile video. Thank you so much, Melissa. And again, sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, Buy Me A Coffee, YouTube Super Thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much.